there everybody welcome back to the youtube channel of jj prime reviews so today we are going to look at a brand new transformers legacy figure that's right legacy wave 2 has hit stores in my country quite quite early starting with transformers legacy leader class blitzwing and a really cool figure in my opinion really nice very very solid and um i i absolutely love this guy love this guy so anyway so before I um, go into deep detail with this figure, we're going to take a quick glance at the packaging right here. Very, very large packaging since he's a leader class. Uh, you got a nice, beautiful image of, of Blitzwing in his robot mode, his jet mode, and his tank mode. And his name is Blitzwing. He's indeed a Decepticon, Transformers logo on the side, Generations Takara Tomy, Hasbro, Transformers Legacy logo, leader class. And this side has the Decepticon artwork, which is really nice. And this side has more Blitzwing photos in jet and tank modes. And on the back of the box, oh wait, no, top of the box, we have the Legacy, the Legacy logo. Uh, on the bottom, uh, nothing. And on the back of the box, we have the obligatory product shots. We got robot mode, we got tank mode, we got jet mode. We got 32 steps from robot to jet and 41 steps from robot to tank. There we go, we got this things and stuff and things and stuff. And you have the QR code that you can scan to know about his uh, tech spec details. So uh, that, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool in my opinion. So uh, that is pretty much it for this closed packaging for Blitzwing. So now let us get down to the review table and see what the big deal is for this triple changer. So let's get it on, man. Let's go. And here we have Legacy Blitzwing fully transformed into his tank mode and a very cool looking tank mode in my opinion. Very nice, very solid, very complete tank mode, and I digs it, I digs it, it looks pretty good. Yes, there is a jet cockpit sticking out at the front, but guess what? It's supposed to be there. So I don't I don't know what more could you want, you know? It's not supposed to be compared with a realistic tank. It's a Cybertronian tank, that's why there's a jet cockpit sticking out at the front. So um, yeah, I, I really don't know what more could you want. So it's supposed to be there. You know, it's accurate. The G1, it's G1 accurate. I don't know why people com people are complaining because this thing is accurate. It's meant to be there. And plus the G1 cartoon was never consistent. It was always inconsistent. So, so we don't know whether the jet cockpit is supposed to stick out like that or it's supposed to be, supposed to be uh, pushed in a bit more. So, well, since the G1 cartoon was never consistent in the first place, this is accurate. So yeah, it, it's supposed to be there. So yeah. <laughs> so yeah. And you got a nice Decepticon symbol on the top right there. Ni nice details with the turret. And it does rotate around, which is really, really nice. I do like that. And uh, you do have some nice rolling wheels on the bottom. So he can definitely roll. Rolls very smoothly. I like that. I really like that. Yeah, very, very smooth. Very, very smooth. I like the rolling. Rolling tank. Nice rolling tank. Uh, nice sewer details and red arrows, you know, for the for the tank mode. Uh, that's more for robot mode, but you can see them anyway. Um, but yeah, all around, the nicely done. Um, nicely done and nice, uh, nicely done and compact. Pretty cool. And uh, yeah, it's actually pretty, uh, it's a complete tank mode. Yeah, it looks like a tank. It's a tank. It's it's supposed to be a tank. Yeah, it, it looks like a tank. It's a Blitzwing tank. So, yeah. So, yeah. Very nicely done. Very nicely done. Of course, the uh, the turret, they can, they can move up and down on this hinge, which is really nice. And, uh, yeah. Very nicely done tank mode, I will say. I will say, I really dig this tank mode. It looks good. Re it looks really, really good. Yeah. Yeah. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. So, um... Now he does come with a few accessories. He comes with not one, okay. He comes with two of the guns, two of his guns right here, which is pretty nice. It's more for jet mode, but you can use them in robot mode anyway. Um, he comes with a sword uh, with some nice sewer details, you know, uh, on the blade, but unfortunately this is made out of a uh, soft-ish bendy plastic, I mean, I mean, it's good because you don't have to worry about breaking it, but yeah, it's 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 weird that it's soft bendish plastic. That's that's just, I don't know, I don't know. But <laughs> anyway, so there you have the sword, and of course, since he's a leader class, he has to come with stuff to 
bumped the price. He comes with two um, weird hand thingies. Or gauntlets. Six finger hands, I guess. I, 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 I mean, I, <laughs> I don't know how to feel about this. I don't even, I don't even know. I don't even know. But anyway, so you can store these weapons on the tank mode. Um, now these, these, uh, these hand thingies, you have to unplug them. There we go. And oh, oh yeah. Just, just to talk about the uh, the articulation a little bit. Uh, these hands do have a little bit of articulation right here. Wrist swivel, you know, the fingers can move out that way. You can't, you can't really move inward. Uh, you can't really move out that way. The hinge, they're they're molded into place, and that's it for articulation for these hands. But anyway, so now I thought that you were supposed to flip these around, but no, you're supposed to unplug these. And there are, there's a peg right here, and and there's a port right there. And bear in mind, this is actually kind of hard to get in, and it's hard to take out as well. So I don't, I don't really plug it in all the way like that. So that way I can uh, actually unplug these easily. So there we go, and just take this and just plug that in, just, just like so, like that. There we go, like that. There we go. Now what you do is you take the tank mode, okay. You can see that there's a there's a tab right here and there's a little little notch right there and this is supposed to tab in right in there just like that and then this will just tab in just like so and there you have the storage for these weird hand thingies and uh, yeah it looks totally ridiculous <laughs> and of course you can store these guns on the sides of the tank mount you can just store them right in there and just store it right in there now it does the instructions do not even show you how to store the sword in tank mode but you know you could just store it on the port right there so just plug this in plug that in there we go you got everything stored in tank mode now I don't mind the guns and the sword storing on the tank mode but these hand thingies ah oh man I mean I think I think uh, once this review is over, I'm gonna take these ex weird accessory thingies and chuck them away in the uh, in a treasure chest full of useless accessories. So that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> but anyway, so I'm gonna take these take these off right now because I don't need them now. So just take them off, take them off like that. Just take these off, take these off, and there we go. We'll use them in a little bit, but anyway, but now we will get down to some size comparisons. Now, I don't have Titan's Return Blitzwing, but here we have Titan's Return Megatron. So, uh, I mean, it's the, it's the same mold, you know, it's the same toy as Titan's Return Blitzwing. So, yeah, it, it, it counts, but, but there you go. So, that, so you can see how the two tank modes look together and, uh, yeah, the legacy version way way better <laughs> as far as i'm concerned this one it doesn't it doesn't even work for me no that does that jet thrusters on the front there <laughs> no this this doesn't this doesn't work for me this actually looks more like a tank this one no no it doesn't no it doesn't but anyway moving on to the next size comparison and here is legacy blitzwing compared with g1 blitzwing well this is G1 Blitzwing in Skytread colors, I guess. <laughs> but um, but yeah, you can see the G1 toy had the jet cockpit sticking out like that. So yeah, I don't know why people are complaining because the G1 toy had the same thing. It did the same thing. So <laughs> and you think, oh, this is the front, but no, 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 no. This is the front. That's the back. So yeah, I mean, it, it, it's. Well, the G1 toys came first, and then the cartoon came out. So, I don't know. Maybe the G1 toy, maybe the cartoon came out first, and then the G1 toys came in next. I don't know. I don't know. But, uh, <laughs> but, <laughs> but yeah. There you go. That's how you. Uh, that's how the two Blitzwings uh, scale together. And here we have Legacy Blitzwing compared with the original Thrilling Thirty Blitzwing, uh, the original generations. Ah. Uh, Blitzwing toy and uh, yeah, um, I think I mean this tank mode it looks pretty good, you know. A it looks pretty good, but my my, my issue is that the treads broke off. <laughs> That's the one issue I have with this toy. So um, I think overall I like the I like to look at this one a lot better because it looks more cohesive and uh, it's actually 
more accurate to what I saw in the movie and in, in, in the G1 cartoon. So um, yeah, it, uh, I mean this one, I, I like this tank mode because you know it actually doesn't have the uh, jet cockpit uh, sticking out the front. Um, but I also don't like it because you know it's kind of gappy. You know it's yeah it's yeah it has visible gaps. I mean yeah I mean. I mean, for Legacy Blitzwing, you do have like visible holes right there, but for the most part, you don't even recognize it, so I don't even complain about those gaps. Um, but these, but this, I, yeah, I just, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, I don't even display my figures facing the wall, so I don't mind what the back looks like, so, um, I mean, this one was a good tank mode of its time, but I think now the, the winner goes to this guy. Yeah, the winner definitely goes to this guy, in my opinion, but... That's again, it, it's my opinion. If you think that this one is better, or if you think the Titans Return version is better, then then good for you. More power to you. I respect you. I respect your opinions. So, um, so yeah. But anyway, but anyway, moving on to the other, you know, random comparisons that we have on the table right now. And here we have Legacy Blitzwing compared with the other leader class figure that I have from the Legacy toy line, Laser Optimus Prime. So you can see how they look together and last but not least here we have blitzwing compared with his fellow decepticon triple changer siege slash earthrise leader class astro train so you can see how the two decepticon triple changers look together and they look pretty good together man we need octane come on hasbro come on we need octane please please <laughs> anyway so that's it for the ultimate comparisons right here I mean, blah, blah, blah. that's it for the ultimate comparisons. Blah, 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 blah. I don't even know what I'm saying. Uh, that is pretty much it for the uh, for the first set of comparisons with Blitzwing in tank mode. Okay, so now that we are done with the uh, the tank mode itself, it's time to transform this guy into his jet mode, which is the weakest alt mode in my opinion. <laughs> So the first thing you would like to do, and I'm not sure you can hear my dog barking in the background. Sure. <laughs> just open this panel up, and then just rotate the turret around. Just bring that around. There we go. And just close that up, and just raise up this section on the double hinge, and leave that there for now. So now you just want to untab. Uh, you want to take the treads and just bring this out like so, just like that, and. Just bring this around like so and leave that for now um, and now what you want to do is uh, you want to untab this this panel right here let's untap that there we go and just unpeg that like so unpeg this from the sides like so and unpeg that like so and just bring this in on the double hinge and there's a tab that goes to the slot right there and just tab that in and just Bring this around and then tab that in and leave that for now. And what you want to do, you want to untab the legs right now and you want to take the wings and just unfold them. Unfold them like so. And these will just rotate that up like so, like that. So just leave that for now and do the same thing on the other side. Just unfold, unfold the wing, unfold the wing just like so. And just bring this up like so. And bring it up, unfold it, and now we can tab the legs back together. Tab it, to tab it together. There we go. Just tab it back together. Make sure everything is folded up. And tab it in. Make sure everything is nice and solid. Just like so. So now, what you want to do with this, you want to untab all of that. Untab all that. And just bring this around and there's a tab right there to go into a little slot right there and just making sure that everything is nice and tapped in everything is nice and solid like and there we go and I'm not sure now these forearms sections don't really tab underneath the wings or so they just the wings just sit on top of the uh, the forearm so that's all they do um, <laughs> and do the same thing on, your, on the other side just tap that in like so and I think we got everything situated properly right 
Do we get everything situated properly? I, 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 man, I hope so. I hope so. I hope so. There we go. And then take these and just flip them around and flip them around just like that. And there you go. So now you want to take this panel right here, just open that up. And you want to take this section right here, just flip this down so that you can actually flip out the nose cone section right here. Just flip out the nose cone. There we go. Close that up and then close that back up just like so. There we got the top of the jet done. So now we need to uh, lock all this in. So this will just tab in right there. And these two tabs will go into the slots right in there. Just tap it in and tap that in. And that tab will go into the slot right in there. Just make sure that everything is lined up properly. Oops, I don't think I have everything lined up properly. Uh oh, oh no. Oh wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, there we go, come on, come on, come on, tap that in, there we go, thank you, and then tap it on the other side, thank you, just tap that in, there we go, and just put these in, put these in, put these in, and take this, and just bring this back, just like so, so they can have appearance to flip out the landing gear. And I don't think I can move out the landing gear. Oh boy. Oh no. Oh no, there we go. Jeez. <laughs> so there we go. There we got the landing gear flipped out. And I think we are done. Are we done? Yes, we're done. Ooh, we are done. So there you have. Blitzwing in his jet mode, and uh, yeah, it is definitely the weakest alt mode out of the uh, out of the two alt modes. The tank mode is the strongest mode, um, but the robot mode, uh, no, 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 the jet mode is not what I call strong. But, but I mean, for the most part, it looks good. You know, if I zoom out a little bit, it actually looks. Oh, whoops, sorry about that. It actually looks good on the top right here. It actually looks good. You don't even see the kibble that much. You see a little bit sticking out, but you know, overall, though, I mean, the jet mode is—it's decent for what it is, but it's not a great-looking jet mode either. But it's not too bad either. You know, actually, uh, it looks good for the most part. But um, I mean, his jet mode was supposed to be that thick, so I mean. You know, I kind of wish you could take this whole entire section and just rotate this around and then just flip out the wings and there you have the double pairs of wings that he's supposed to have. So, yeah, I, I kind of wish they, they did that, but oh well, it is what it is, but it's decent for what it is. It's not the strongest alt mode in my opinion. It's still the weak one. I mean... I mean, if you look at if you if you look at Siege Astro Train, his shuttle mode was very weak and incomplete. <laughs> um, so, eh, you know, I mean, compromises. It's a triple changer, so, and it's a mainline figure. It's not a third-party figure. Here's one main issue. Um, my complaint is that you know people just seem to compare mainline figures to third-party figures all the time. No, 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 no. You're not supposed to compare mainline to third party because that's an unfair comparison, no contest. So, me personally, I wouldn't even compare this to third party. So, yeah, because third party can have anything they want to do with the limitations of the jet mode and the tank mode. They can do anything they want to. But for Hasbro, they have to follow the limitations that they have with the with the triple changing gimmick. And, um, you know, I think, I think this figure pull, pulls it off really, really well. Um, I mean, the jet mode, it looks good on the top when you look at it at the top, but you know, I mean, of course, when you look at the sides, of course, they have the, the tank kibble right there. But hey, who else had tank treads in Jet Mode? Animated Blitzwing. <laughs> Animated Blitzwing had tank treads on the bottom of the jet on the bottom of the Jet Mode. So yeah, I mean, it's part of the course. It's, it's Blitzwing. So yeah. Um, <laughs> I mean, not all Blitzwings are like this because, you know, Bumblebee Movie Blitzwing is a different Blitzwing, but yeah. Anyway, so you can take these guns and you can just plug them on the sides, uh, make it seem like they're null rays. And I think, you know, when you plug in 
these uh, these guns on the sides, it actually makes the jet mode look a little bit better. I don't know. That's just my opinion. I don't know. It kind of it it does look a little bit better, in my opinion anyway. So it kind of does. It kind of helps. Kind of helps the jet mode a little bit. So let's just plug in. No 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 no. Stay. You stay. Hey. <laughs> You stay, you stay plugged in. There we go. Jeez. Anyway, you stay plugged in. You stay, you stay, you stay sitting. There we go. There we go. So, yeah, there we go. Actually, actually, kind of does make it look a little bit better, I guess. You know, maybe. I don't know. And of course you can do something else with the, uh, the hands in this mode too. So um, what you're supposed to do, you're supposed to flip these open, flip these down so you can reveal extra ports. There we go. Just flip these down, just like so. And what you do is take these. Okay, so now I have to unplug these. There we go. Just plug, plug the hands back in and just plug them in back in there. There we go, and now we can take these things, yeah, these things, <laughs> these things, and just plug them into these these ports right there. Just plug them in, just like so, just like that, and plug it in, plug it in, plug it in, and there you go. There, that's how you store these hands. Weird hands in 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 jet mode. Uh, sure, sure, yeah. This thing, yeah, it 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 it, it yeah. I mean, yes, yeah, uh, it, it, yeah, sure, it, sure, I'm, it, 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 sure, <laughs> sure. There we go. But I'm gonna take these off for now because they look ridiculous in every mode. <laughs> Take these off for now, and put these uh, close up, close up these panels, close up these panels, close up these panels. There we go. Close up that. Close that up. There we go. And there we go. We got everything situated properly, making sure that everything is locked into place. There we go. Just gently. Ah, no. Just come on. Hey, hey. Let's swing. Let's swing. Work with, work with me. Work with me. It's supposed to work with me, not fight me. <laughs> okay, whatever. I don't care. But anyway, so let us bring in a few comparisons with Blitzwing in jet mode. First off, here we have Legacy Blitzwing compared with the Titans Return Megatron in his jet mode. Now, I will admit that this this jet mode definitely looks a little bit a little bit better, slightly. But you know, it still has the tank kibble underneath, but. Not that much, but um, but you know, I still like the look of this jet mode. I, I think it looks really uh, pretty pretty decent. For what it is, um, I I think this jet mode is actually pretty much. I think it's 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 cleaner from the top. Looking at this, when I look at this, I look at that. Oh yeah, there's robot mode bits <laughs> on the top of the jet mode, which doesn't look that good, unfortunately. But oh well, I think this one actually pulls off the jet mode. A little bit better, a little bit better in my opinion. I think, I think so. I don't know. I mean, what do you think? You think, you think Blitzwing, uh, you think, uh, you think this Blitzwing is better in Jet Merit, or do you think the Times Return version, you know, is is better in Jet Merit? I mean, granted that this is Megatron, but hey, it shares the same mold as Blitzwing, so it counts. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Which one do you like better? Actually, like I, I kind of like this one better. I, I kind of like this one better. Yeah. Hmm. Actually, it has a landing gear, or yeah, it actually has a landing gear as opposed to this one. It doesn't have a landing gear. Hmm. Hmm. Oh well. <laughs> but um, but eh, you choose your choice, whatever you want to choose in your collection. But I, I think overall, I think this guy wins. Maybe I don't know. Uh, that's just my opinion. That's just my opinion. I think I like this one better. In my opinion, anyway. But um, actually, no. Let me change that. Um, I don't know. I mean, this one looks good. This one does look really good. It definitely works. It works well. Um, 
But I look at this and it actually does work. You know, it has a nice nose cone section, has nice wings, got, got tail fins, got nice detail all around. I mean, it, it, I mean, if you forget about the tank kibble, of course it does work. Um, <laughs> so I, I, you know, I've seen pictures online where you can, you know, take off the, uh, the majority of the kibble off of him. And, um, I guess, you know, I mean, I mean, you could if you really want to, but, but I, I, I can't because it's, it's pinned, you know, it's actually pinned. The joint is a pin, so, yeah, it's on a pin, so I can't really take it off. It's hard to take off pins, you know, but, um, yeah, I mean, I kind of like this one better. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I kind of do. I kind of do. But again, that's just my opinion. Anyway, anyway, let's move on. And here we have Legacy Blitzwing compared with the uh, the G1 Blitzwing mold in jet mode. And uh, yeah, um, the G1 toy had a lot of kibble underneath. You know, it's thick. It's a thick jet mode, so I can forget this being thick because it's meant to be thick. <laughs> so, um, and the, the the turret is meant to be there, so it's it's accurate. So. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, I mean, y y yeah. <laughs> but anyway, let's move on. And here we have Legacy Blitzwing compared with the original generation's Thrilling 30 Blitzwing. And uh, now, this guy's gem mode was also pretty compromised, you know, because, you know, he had, he had, he had weird gaps, you know, and yeah. And, and uh, of course, the tank kibble is on the top, you know, and everything, so. Um, yeah, this jet mode is also compromised. So, with Blitzwing, you can never have a perfect jet mode. It always needs to have tank kibble on the top or at the bottom. So, this is either like uh, animated Blitzwing style or something. I don't know, but maybe, maybe it is Blitzwing, animated Blitzwing style. I don't know, but um, yeah, with Blitzwing, with any Blitzwing that's related to the G1 design. Um, it always needs to have some sort of kibble in its aerial mode yeah, Like in animated the jet mode always has the tank kibble has, has the tank treads, which is which is really weird, but it's there, you know, you can see it. So um, Yeah, I don't know what more to tell you because literally with every mainline G1 Blitzwing toy You always get a jet mode with a lot of kibble underneath so it will not be that streamlined, it will not be that aerodynamic at all, so... But it's a fantasy scene, so you can always imagine that it's aerodynamic. <laughs> I mean, he was aerodynamic in, 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 in the cartoon, so... How he was aerodynamic in the cartoon, I don't know, but his jet mode... Like, the animation model even showed the jet mode is thick. Like, very, very thick, and has kibble underneath. So, I don't know what more you could want, I don't know. I don't know, what more could you want from a G1 Blitzwing that is this good? So, I don't know. I really don't know. But anyway, let's move on. And just because, here we have Legacy Blitzwing compared with the Studio Series Bumblebee Movie Blitzwing. And, uh, I mean, yeah, the Studio Series version definitely pulls off the jet mode a lot better, in my opinion. It's, it's cleaner. I mean, it has all the robot mode kibble underneath, but... Hey, it actually doesn't have the tank kibble because this one is actually not a triple changer. I mean, this one is not a triple changer. It has to go with one mode only. So, so yeah, of course, the jet mode is not going to be compromised. But with triple changing gimmicks, you, um, every mode needs to be... Uh, an alt mode needs to be uh, compromised a little bit. So, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, between these two figures, I think I like the jet mode on this one better. But, honestly, it's no comparison because... This is a Studio Series figure, and this is a Generations Legacy figure, so... Yeah. And, plus, this is not supposed to be G1, so... Yeah. But anyway, let's move on to the last size comparison with Blitzwing in Jet Mode. And, there you go! There we have Legacy Blitzwing compared with Astro... With the Siege slash Earthrise Leader Class Astro Train Toy in its Shuttle Mode. And, uh, yeah. I mean, yes, I mean, yeah. This shuttle mode is pretty incomplete. It's not successful, you know. Hey, you know, it's compromised, you know, because it's not complete. Yeah, <laughs> and of course, this one is also compromised because of the tank kibble. So, what more could you want from mainline G1 triple changers? I don't know. <laughs> but um, but there you go. That is pretty much it for the uh, comparisons with Blitzwing in Jet Mode. 
Okay, so now that we are done with the jet mode itself, let us transform this guy again! And, finally, into his robot mirrors. Let's do it! So now we have to take these guns and plug them, put them off to the side, and we shall begin. So, first things first, I would like to take this section right here, just open that up, flip out the nose cone right there, and just close that up. There we go. I'm gonna take these little pieces right here, just fold them up like so, roll them around just like that, like so. So now, what you want to do, you want to untab this section right here, just uh, raise this up a little bit now, now like so, and just flip, out the, flip in the landing gear, and just untab that, it's untab all this, untab all that, and just leave that for now. That's, this is going to be the backpack itself. You want to take the wings and just flip them out, just like so, and flip them out, just like so. And there you go. So we're gonna take this section right here, just bring this around, bring that around, and that will tap into place, tap into place. There we go. So now you're gonna open up this section right here, just rotate this around, rotate the head around, just like so, close that up, and boom. So now you wanna take this section right here, just rotate this around, and just rotate that around. Flip in, flip out the hands. There we go, flip out the hand, and just rotate that. Rotate that up, and yeah, my one of my other issues with this figure is that these panels don't have a place to lock in. You know, they don't seem to have a tab that tabs in anywhere, and they don't even lock into place. I mean, this hinge is stiff enough to to keep it there. I mean, you, you can just you can bend the elbow without rotating that. Hey, it's a thing you can do. But yeah, I I, I kind of wish that this you know was able to tab in somewhere so it doesn't move on you, but oh well, it is what it is. Uh, that's another issue that I have in robot mode. But anyway, so just flip out the hands, there we go, and just rotate that around, just like that, and just rotate this around, and there we have the arms pretty much all done and ready. So now, what you want to do with the legs, just split them, and just unfold the legs, and that will tab in like so, and tab that in like so, and just Wrap these wings around the leg, like so, and just wrap it around, and then just split all this, split all that, and just tap that in, and there you have one leg all done. Same thing on the other side, just bring this up, tap that in, tap that in, there we go, and just wrap this around, wrap it around, and there we go, just split this open, split that open, split that open, tap that in, and there you have the legs, all done and ready. So now I need to raise up the camera a little bit more so you can see what I am doing at the top floor, so, and there we go, there we have that. So now, what you want to do with the backpack, just bring all of this up, like so, and just bring this down and that will come down on you and that will just tap into place to fill in the chest complete the complete the look and i think we're done are we done yes we're done Woo, we are done oh, oh yeah another issue that i have with the robot mode is that this backpack section doesn't really lock into place which is a bit unfortunate, but oh well, it is what it is. So yeah, two minor gripes with the robot mode. Just these panels and the, the fact that the backpack doesn't lock into place properly. But anyway, but yeah, I think we're done. Are we done? Yes, we are, so we're done. So there you go. There we have Blitzwing fully transformed into his robot mode. Let me get you standing up straight, please. Blitzwing, thank you. Work with me. Work with me, man. Thank you for working with me. Thank you. All right. All right. All righty. So there you go. There he is. In this robot mode. And there you go. Easy transformation. It was fun. It was smooth. It was enjoyable. So, uh, yeah. And he looks really good. It looks great in robot mode as far as I'm concerned. It, very, very uh, tune accurate. And I dig it. I really dig it. I love this guy. I love the robot mode for this guy. Looks great. Now, final verdict with this figure, uh, the robot mode looks great, tank mode looks really good, the jet mode, ee, definitely could have been better, but it, it looks good for the most part. Um, but yeah, but yeah, the robot mode is definitely very, very successful, and I'm gonna display him 
proudly in robot mode because that is the only mode that really matters to me and they nailed it. They nailed it. Yeah. Yeah. They freaking nailed it. Anyway, so let's get closer. We're gonna take a look at the head sculpt. That's a beautiful Blitzwing head sculpt. I love that head sculpt. Nice big red visor. I love that. A little bit of red on top right there. Nice over the face. Uh, Decepticon symbol right there. Oh, oh yeah. I didn't I didn't tell you that there were Decepticon symbols. There were Decepticon symbols on the wings. So there you go. And, um... Yeah, I mean, looks looks like Blitzwing. It looks like G1 Blitzwing. No sense of about it. It looks really good. Looks awesome. Looks amazing. Oh, I love it. I love it. But anyway, so yeah. Nice roof with the thighs, though. I love that. And, um... Yeah. And of course, he has the backpack because, you know, it's the Blitzwing backpack. He's meant to have a backpack anyway. So, <laughs> don't know why people complain about the backpack because this is accurate. Um, nice super details on the, the waist section right here, just super details right there. And of course, yellow paint on the chest right there as well. Nice purple paint on the shoulders, nice black a little bit there. And uh, yeah, nicely done robot mode. I really dig it. Digs it, digs it so much. And definitely this one looks so much better than the Titans Return version. Oh, the Titans Return version did not, did not look that great in robot mode, unfortunately. The proportions were just weird to me, I don't know. It, it was just, I don't know, Ugh, anyway. Um, so, now, articulation in robot mode. Uh, the head is on a ball joint, I believe. It can rotate a full 360. It can move up like that. It can can't really move down. Um, you can actually move these this panel out like so. It can accommodate the arm movements. It can rotate around like so. It can only move, if you move this back a little bit more, you can move back a little bit more, there we go, and you can move in and out like so, you could use these hinges if you really want to, but no, they're not supposed to be used though, um, you do have a bicep swivel and elbow joint, about 90 degree, uh, over 90 degrees of bend, right there at the elbow, and of course you do have wrist rotation, which is really nice, and of course you do have waist rotation, and of course these panels can flip out, uh, so you can take so that they can accommodate the leg movements. Legs can move up that far, can move back only that far, and he can he he can't really do the full splits. Can only move out that far. Um, do uh, he has a thigh swivel? He has a knee joint or 90 degrees, and of course you do have ankle tilt hitch. Yeah, that's nice. Awesome. That's awesome. I love it when, he, when I love it when robots have ankle tilts. I love it. I love it. I love it. But yeah. So yeah, he's really posable all around, so I got no issues with the articulation whatsoever. Um, okay, maybe maybe I, I kind of wish that this whole shoulder piece could rotate around, so it can rotate a full 360, but oh well. It is what it is, it's not a big deal breaker for me, so yeah. So of course you can utilize some, his, some of his weapons in robot mode. Um, <laughs> you can utilize his weapons in robot mode. Uh, first, let's talk about the uh, the, the weird hands. Um, let's talk about them. Uh, what you're supposed to do with these, you just rotate the uh, the hands around like so. Rotate them around like so. And I really don't like this because it looks ridiculous. And honestly, I don't even prefer this. And it's it's just dumb. It's just dumb at this moment. <laughs> Oh man, this is just dumb. It's just so dumb. And there we go. And yeah, this is this is really dumb. I mean, you could, you can pose him like that if you really want to. I guess. I I, I don't know. I mean, you can, you can do that. I guess. I, I don't know. You can do that. You know, it's a thing. It's a thing. It's a thing you can do. Um, but I honestly don't want to use these hands because they're just they're just dumb. I mean, hey, it's extra play value. I mean, I don't have any problems with extra play value. It's just that the way these things look, they look weird, and this looks ugh. Um, so I don't, I don't need to use them if I don't want to. But hey, it's your toy. You can display it however you wish. So yeah, just put this off to the side, and now we will get his sword ready and his two guns. So now, if you don't want to use his guns, you can actually store them on the back. You can these see these ports right there now these the uh, the instructions do show you how to store these they store them like that like so and do the same thing on the other side just store them right in there just like so but of course I'm gonna give one gun to uh, to Blitzwing 
and have him hold the gun on his left hand because his right hand oh, whoops 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 okay just hold it right there because his right hand is going to hold the sword so the sword can just plug it in I mean you can store the sword on the back if you really want to but he's a warrior so he's supposed to have a sword right there and that's pretty cool I dig it I dig that oh, I like that oh man Woo! I really dig this figure this figure is really well done in my opinion this this is definitely the G1 Blitzwing I've always wanted in my collection and I finally have him yay so <laughs> but yeah I definitely highly recommend this figure He's, he's a lot of fun. His engineering is really intuitive, in my opinion. But anyway, so let us get down to some SAS comparisons. Here we have Legacy Blitzwing compared with the Titans Return Voyager class Megatron, which is based on the Blitzwing mold. And um, yeah, um, I know that this mold is bigger than this one, but in this case, bigger is not better in my opinion because this one is leaps and bounds, worlds and galaxies better than this. <laughs> in my opinion anyway, I mean, this one looks so much better. He has better proportions, better articulation. I mean, granted that this guy, uh, this mold actually has this movement for the shoulders, but again, the way the shoulder moves is actually, I don't know, it's weird to me anyway. But um, but this one is, is, it just looks so much better. It just looks so much better in my opinion. It's not even a headmaster, thank goodness, hooray. Um, so um, yeah, um, overall though, I think this, the winner goes to this guy. Better articulation, better looks, better paint as well. So yeah, um, this one is just, I don't know, the mold doesn't really work for me. Um, I just, I don't know. I don't know. It's just it's, it's okay. You know, this mold is okay, but this one Great figure great figure in my opinion. But anyway, let's move on and here is legacy blitzwing compared with the uh, the G1 blitzwing mold As You can see how the two blitzwings look together and here we have legacy blitzwing compared with the original generations thrilling 30 blitzwing and uh, yeah, and again Legacy wins. Legacy wins hands down for me. I mean, this is a, a, a cool design. When I look at this, it's a cool design, but my problem with the figure is that the shoulders don't even lock into place. It, it, it's no. It's, it's no. But, um, I mean, he has decent articulation. He has ankle tilts, which is nice, but he doesn't have a waist swivel. He doesn't have wrist swivels. This one has all of it, so, yeah. This one is more chunky, is, you know, it's more boxy, just like G1 Blitzwing. Um, so... Yeah, it, it, I mean, it's G1, it's meant to be boxy, so... Yeah, overall though, I mean, Legacy Blitzwing definitely wins, hands down for me, I mean... I mean, this is an okay figure, I mean, it transforms nice, I mean, it has a fun transformation, I guess, but... Overall though, this one wins, this guy wins, it has a more intuitive transformation, it's enjoyable to mess with, it's fun to mess with, fun to pose, so... All in all though, this guy, this guy wins. I'm sorry, this guy wins. <laughs> so there you go. That, uh, that's pretty, uh, that, let's move on. And just because here we have Legacy Blitzwing compared with the Studio Series Bumblebee movie Blitzwing. So you can see how the two Blitzwings look together. And uh, yeah, two totally different designs. So this guy is meant to be a Decepticon Seeker. He's not supposed to be a triple changer in the Bumblebee movie. And this one is pure G1. Maybe this would look good in the G1 Blitzwing colors, I don't know. But, but, I, mean, I don't know. I, I've seen the 3-0 version of Bumblebee Movie Blitzwing in G1 colors, I guess. And it looks really good. It looks gorgeous. But um, but no. Uh, Bumblebee Movie Blitzwing is not supposed to be G1 Blitzwing. No, he's not supposed to be G1. So, I'm not upset that this is not G1 Blitzwing. I'm not upset. You know, because it's a different type of Blitzwing. It's Blitzwing as a seeker. So, yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's move on. Okay, so here we have Legacy Blitzwing compared with the uh, Siege slash Earthrise leader class Astro Train, and uh, yeah, they look really good together. They look so good together. Once we get Octane, oh, the Decepticon Triple Changer Trio, it's finished. Hooray! Or maybe they will do in the Studio Series 86 version of Astro Train. I don't know. I don't know, but this one is... Still a good mainline G1 Astro Train. It's still a good figure, great figure. So, yeah. 
So they, yeah, they look really good together. They really look good together. Oh man. Oh man. Ooh. Ooh. And this one is slightly taller than Astro Train. Huh. Why is that? Hmm. Hmm. I thought they were the same height, but no. They're pretty much the same. Uh, they're pretty much the. Uh, uh, this guy is actually taller. Uh, yeah, this one is actually taller than, than Astro Train here. So. Hmm. Well, actually, no. They're about the same height. When you stand Astro Train straight, I think he comes like at the same height as Blitzwing. Hmm. Hmm. Very nice. Very, very nice. Anyway, let's move on to the final size comparison for today. And speaking of which, here we have Legacy Blitzwing compared with the uh, Legacy Leader Class Laser Optimus Prime. So you can see how the two look, how the two Leader Class figures look together. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, all right. Uh, Laser Optimus Prime is definitely a little bit taller than Blitzwing, and uh, yeah, but yeah. All right, so uh, that is pretty much it for the robot mode comparisons right here. Okay, so here are my final thoughts on the Transformers Legacy Leader class, Blitzwing, and a really, really well done figure in my opinion. The robot mode looks great as far as I'm concerned. Uh, the tank mode looks really, really good, you know, it's, it's, it's definitely the strongest tank mode that I have seen from any Blitzwing toy, in my opinion. The jet mode is definitely the weakest mode out of the three, but you know it's it's you know it's a triple changer. So uh, there's a lot of stretch, you know, from uh, you know going from a tank to a jet mode. So there's definitely some com compromises for a mainline triple changer like Blitzwing. So yeah, I mean it's meant to have tank kibble underneath, you know, it's always there, so, I mean, the G1 toy had, it's a thick jet mode, it's not meant to be a, uh, like, it's not meant to be a slim looking aerial, aerodynamic jet mode, no it's not, it's supposed to be thick, so, out of the bat, the thickness, I don't even care, I, 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 I'm fine with it, um, but definitely it could have been done a little bit better, but the jet mode overall, it definitely does not look that bad, it's definitely looking pretty decent. For what it is and what's and what it's intended to be, um, articulation for the robot mode is really really good. You know, I have no issues with the articulation. Although I kind of wish the other uh, shoulders could move around properly, like that. You know, it's okay. It is what it is. Uh, it's not a deal breaker for me. I'm not I'm not complaining that much about the articulation because he can still be posed like this. You know, can have a. Uh, Cool striking pose. Uh, the weird accessories, the weird hands. Don't like them. No, <laughs> no, not not a big fan of them. No, no, no. I, I it's just they're uh, they're weird. But I I do appreciate them for adding extra play value to the figure. That I can appreciate. But the hands just just they, they look weird. Um, <laughs> but um, um, transformation smooth, enjoyable, fluid. No, uh, no, uh, no clearance issues, so that's that's a plus. Um, I do have minor grabs with the robot mode, by the way. Um, these forearm panels, I just wish they had some place to lock. You know, I I, I kind of wish they had extra tabs to tab into the uh, into the forearms. I guess. Yeah, they they they, they, they could have been more secure. Yeah, it, 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 it's easy to to knock them around, but but I mean, if you don't touch them. Then, then they won't move around on you. Um, the backpack, yeah, it, it's not you know super secure. Unfortunately, um, definitely, it definitely could have tabbed in way way better. But oh well, it is what it is. But overall, though, really well done figure. You know, really well done figure. Um, just some minor gripes here and there. The jet mode, definitely some minor uh, gripes with the with how the jet mode looks. But again, it's supposed to be a thick jet mode, so honestly, I don't have any issues with the jet mode. But definitely, uh, I mean, for the jet mode, that you could have taken the uh, tank cable and just rotated it around and flipped out the wings, so they has some double pairs of wings as he's supposed to have, so that you don't have to see the cable that much. That they could have just. Change the engineering a little bit there for the jet mode, but oh well, it is what it is. Um, yeah, for the most part, he's really well done. He's fun to mess with, and um, I do quite like him. I do quite like him. So, yeah, he's, he's, in my opinion, overall, he's the best mainline G1 Blitzwing that we've gotten. I I gotta say, you know, it's 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 awesome. <laughs> 
to me, it's an awesome figure. To, to you, maybe not, but to me, it's an awesome toy. It's a really awesome toy. I like transforming this guy back and forth, and he's just fun to mess with. Fun to mess with. So overall, on the scale of 1 to 10, I'm definitely going to give him an 8.5 out of 10. Definitely could have been a lot better with the jet mode and uh, with these things that kind of bug me in robot mode. But all in all, all, in all 8.5 out of 10, still a great score for this figure. Really well done. And I'm definitely pleased to have a new G1 Blitzwing in my collection. I'm pleased. I'm pleased. I'm happy. I'm happy. So, all right. So that is pretty much it for today's video review. So ladies and gentlemen, if you are completely new to the channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. And while you're at it, click that notification bell icon down below as well. So that you will know when my new videos are up and ready. And you can always check out my legacy reviews playlist for any, for any videos I may have missed. So I'll post a link to that playlist in the description down below. And uh, yeah, oh yeah, I got this guy from uh, from a shop named TF Toy, I believe. I think, yes, I I think that's the shop's name. Um, so TF Toy is the shop's name. Is it, TF Toy is the name of the shop where I got this figure. But if you want to get this figure, uh, good luck. Hunt it down somewhere. I don't know. But um, yeah, so that is pretty much it for me to say. So they have the Transformers Legacy Leader Class Blitzwing. And this is JJ Prime signing off. Peace out to all the one and I'll see you guys next time. Yay! Greetings, Transformers fans. My name is Alita One. I would like to thank you for watching JJ Prime Reviews. If you would like to see more reviews, live unboxings, or even tutorials on the channel, hit the subscribe button and smash that bell icon to get notified when a new video is uploaded on the channel. Thank you, and see you next time. Till all are one.